We're going to talk about vortexes because okay. vortexes are interesting, and uh, we have a vortex tube right here, a little tornado tube, and you know a lot of people have seen it. Go ahead and, and yeah. let's turn that upside down. If you hold it just still for a second, I mean there's air in here, but the water can't come down in, unless some of the air comes up. So go ahead and, and give that a twirl, and we'll see if we can get. And it should form our vortex, which is uh, you know like a tornado. A tornado is a vortex. Mm -hmm. But, you know, and that happens in water. We can have a vortex in water. We can have a vortex in air. But, you know, in nature, sometimes we pick up some interesting things, especially in a fire. There's actually something that's called a fire tornado, as, as you we, know. We've seen this before. And you get yeah. these wildfires going, and you see this vortex of fire, basically. Yeah. So and you can recreate that? Yeah, uh, we can. We can do it right here. In fact, uh, what we have, we've got a little can. We've got some little sponges. And we're going to use a little bit of uh, just some alcohol, OK? So we're just going to pour just a little bit of alcohol on those sponges. And then all we need now is an ignition source. Mm -hmm. Of course, if you already have a forest fire, you have a lightning strike, then that's your ignition for, uh, force. But it could also be a fire like a building fire, perhaps, OK? So what we need to do is we're going to light this, but we probably ought to put our safety glasses yes. on. Yes. That's a good idea. Might step back and it's kind of like a, <laughs> yeah. I'm glad we have the safety yeah. glass here. It's, it's kind of like a whirlwind, you know, a right. whirlwind, a dust devil, OK? The same thing. The fire tornado isn't quite as uh, powerful as a, as a regular tornado, you know, that, we would, that we've experienced, you know, in the last few days in Oklahoma. Let's go ahead and we're going to spin it. Now, normally, I mean, the air coming up, the air rises, warmer air is going up, and that meets some cooler air, and that, that gives us a twirling column of air. So this is what happens then. And this tornado can actually go like 400 feet in the air. Wow. I mean, a fire, wow. you know, and so it could go treetop level and just bounce from treetop to treetop, can travel really great distances. So in, you know, so in a fire, the, the column of air is heating, it's rising, and so you're evacuating air, basically. So you're creating this low pressure, extremely low pressure right there. So yes. other air rushes in, but in this case, you get yeah. something to cause rotation, and it spins. You That's get the right. Vortex. Yeah, and it can be very, very destructive, and it's very difficult to fight a fire when it's in a tornado and it's flying over treetop level. And this would make it very erratic, too. Yes, you never know which it's way it's going to go. how the fire can go. change direction, right? You get this vortex going. That's right.